Boruto Karma Progression, also known as Borushiki, is the fifth and the final DLC character in Season Pass 1 for Storm Connections. He was the most anticipated character for me. Ever since he was leaked, I've been curious about how Cyber Connect 2 would portray this character. We have seen him in other Naruto games like Shinobi Striker and Naruto Mobile, and they did a pretty good job. Did Storm Connections make this character even better? Let us find out. His combos are a mix of previous versions of Boruto combined into one character. For example, his neutral combo is somewhat similar to Chunin Exam Boruto, and his down combo is similar to Boruto. Boruto Karma's neutral combo finisher. This makes sense considering it's Boruto's body and he possesses all these techniques, but it's more powerful because Momoshiki is controlling him. Like previous DLC characters, you can perform an infinite combo. The easiest way to execute an infinite combo is with the forced 4 hits when he kicks with a leg. My favorite combo of his is the neutral one when he creates giant Rasengan. The animation and the reference hits hard. Even though all of his combos are very impressive, there are few aspects of this character moveset that I don't like. The first thing I want to mention is his grab. Don't get me wrong, the animation and the grab itself is good, the activation time is fast and the range is decent. The issue I have is that you can rebound after his grab, which is not ideal because the opponent can escape from it that way. However, if you ninja dash fast, you will be able to connect with his mid-air combo, which is not that bad. And the second one is his mid-air combo. It has the same issue as his grab. The opponent can rebound after the last hit, which is not ideal for you at all. I hope in the future Cyber Connect 2 will fix this rebound issue for his mid-air combo and the grab. Okay, now let's talk about his jutsus. His first jutsu covers a wide area, and upon connecting, it launches the opponent in the mid-air, allowing you to follow with combos or even his second jutsu. This jutsu can be charged, while using the charge option, he teleports and launches the massive Rasengan. After that, you can follow up with a mid-air combo or again use his second jutsu, but you have to time it perfectly. Even though he teleports and launches it from the mid-air, it can't be activated in mid-air. His second jutsu, the iconic Rasendan, also has two options. The basic one, which fires one Rasendan, and the charge one, which launches three Rasendans. This jutsu is unblockable and can go through multiple opponents, which is kind of nuts in my opinion. It can be also used in mid-air. If you connect with this jutsu, your opponent will be in a crippled state, allowing you to land combos. Even though it seems the jutsu is overpowered, it's not. The activation time is not that fast and can be easily dodged by simple ninja moves. Now for his awakening, and I'm in love with it. He has the second best awakening from this season pass. The first one is obviously Ishiki's awakening because he can shrink projectile jutsus. While in awakening mode, his jutsu is still a massive Rasengan, but it has been modified. Now instead of throwing the Rasengan, he charges toward you. It can also be activated in midair and you can cancel it, which was not possible before. Additionally, you can follow up with combos after using it and the range of this jutsu is really good. His second jutsu remains the same, but the damage has been increased. Additionally, you won't able to use the charge option anymore. Similar to before, it can break your guard and can also be used in midair. If you manage to hit, you can also follow up with combos. Now for his awakening action. To be honest, this is the best part of him, at least for me. He ninja moves and launches three Rasendans, but you can press it again and use it multiple times and confuse your enemies. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, nor breaks your opponent's guard, but if you combine it with your jutsus, it can become a deadly combo. Lastly, his ultimate jutsu. It's amazing. I can't say a single bad thing about it. Cyber Connect 2 did a great job from start to finish. Everything is eye candy. I love how they improved the iconic Rasengan moment with all these new stars by introducing Shadow Clones and the Rasen Dance. In my opinion, he has the best solo ultimate. I simply love it. A bonus, even though it's not specifically related to Borushiki, this new team ultimate is a part of this DLC pack. It's Team Indra's ultimate jutsu, which I believe is the best team ultimate in this season pass. I love the attention to the detail they put into it. Instead of working together like Team Ashura did, they are competing with each other, which suits them a lot. Conclusion 
Sarba Kanang 2 managed to finish the first season with a bang. Allah how they outdid themselves with the Boroshiki. Everything about this character is amazing. The combos, the jutsus, the awakening, and obviously the ultimate jutsu. I can't stop thinking about it. That's a Sarba Kanang 2 magic for you. I do wish they could mix Momoshiki and Boruto's voices together like it was in the anime, but I love how they put the manga colored outfit in this game. My rating for Boruto Karma Progression is easily 9 out of 10. And that's it for the Borushiki review. Overall, the first season pass was amazing in my opinion. I do agree that some characters should have been in the base game like Hagaromo, Kurenai and Ishiki, especially considering Baron mode Naruto was there, but I'm still happy to see them as playable characters. You may be wondering if the game is coming to an end. Will there be no more updates or DLCs? No, it's not over yet. I made a video talking about the season pass 2, which you can check it out on my channel. And I'm 100% sure we will get another season pass in the near future. I hope you enjoyed my Borushiki review. If you did, please like, share with your friends, subscribe. It really does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.